Well, greetings YouTube, this is Cool Dude Clem here, back for another Slow Scan TV experiment. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with what Slow Scan TV is, what it does is it converts pictures into sound, so it can be transmitted over radio, and at the other end, the sound gets decoded back from the sound into the original picture. Now, in my original experiment, I used a program that converts each line of the picture into a specific tone, then recorded that onto a tape, then copied that from the tape onto the computer, where I viewed the sound through a spectrogram, and within the spectrogram window, the original pictures could be seen. Now, in this experiment, I'm going to use a program called MMSSTV, which does the same sort of thing. It still encodes the pictures to sound, but does it in a different way. Now, this program is designed for amateur radio use, but I'm going to do some experiments with it, including trying to record the pictures onto tape. So, let's see how this all turns out. Okay, and welcome back to another Slow Scan TV experiment. On my computer here, I've got this program here, which will send pictures as sound, like in my last video that I did. This one is a little bit more complicated. On my other computer, I've got exactly the same program running. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this picture here, which is a messed up picture of me with only one eye and no mouth. I'm going to send that as sound and receive it on this computer here. The line out on this one is connected to the line in on this one. So, I'm now going to send that picture along the wire and we should see it appear on here. So let's do that right now. And here it comes. I think my thing is overdriving a bit, so I'm just going to... Turn that down just a little tiny bit. But anyway, there is the received picture. Okay, I've now connected this microphone up to the computer. I've disconnected this one's line out from this one's line in, so the only way that this computer is going to receive the transmission is from this speaker and this microphone. I'm just going to select a different picture here. Better not select Lisa, might get copyright for that, so select something else. Okay, command to keep, that'll do. So I'm going to send that picture using the speaker and the microphone. And here it comes. I'm not going to try to talk too loud because that will get into the picture. Oh, well, I'll just say something in the microphone right now. I am talking in the microphone, trying to cause some interference. Oh, you can see it just about there. Just where I was talking, you might be able to see some static there. thing is the speaker was so loud it wasn't really um should have been closer to the microphone so let's just do that again. But I'm gonna tap the microphone a few times this um this time let's say send this picture here from Outrun. So I'm gonna send that now with again using the microphone. There it is coming through onto the computer. You can see it can tolerate some mild background noise. Now I'm going to tap that microphone a few times. Oh, 
Oh, there you can see where I was tapping the microphone. There's some little bits of interference right there. Now, for those of you who want to see this um, done on tape, here we have a 1972 Akai 4000DS Mark II reel to reel. And here we have a 1994 Denon DRS 810 cassette deck. So let's see which one of these two is better at storing pictures this way. Will it be the reel to reel? Or will it be the cassette deck? To save time, I've already recorded some pictures onto these tapes, so it's more of a case of here's one I prepared earlier. So I'll just put this onto auxiliary. And let's see the picture that's on the reel to reel. Should come through any minute, there it is. Okay, now it's picking up the picture from that's stored on the reel to reel, and this does not look very good at all. Now I have made sure that the levels are not distorting or overflowing and everything is set up properly. But even with the minute min amount of wow and flutter that the reel-to-reel -reel has, you can see it's not very good at all. There are some ad adjustments here for the... to try to correct that. Ah, now we can see the picture better. So, the reel-to-reel -reel has been able to save a picture, as you can see there. Had to have the computer correct the problems, but there it is. Now, let's see what we get from this 1994 cassette deck. Let's see if cassette is any better at storing pictures in this way. Should be coming through. Ah, here it is. Looks like I forgot to change the picture, so both tapes have the same picture on them. So I guess this is good for a comparison. But you can see, this looks just as bad as the one that the reel-to-reel -reel um, recorded. So tape really isn't a good medium for storing you know, slow scan TV pictures that were done this way. Let's just see if we can correct that. And there it is, there's the picture from the cassette. So anyway, that's about the end of this experiment, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. And until next time, Goodbye. And let's see the picture that's on the reel to reel. And nothing appears to be coming through. I don't think the thing has actually started yet. Oh, no, that's my mistake. I haven't put this thing onto tape. because I'm an absolute plonker, I am. Right. I'm just rewinding here. I've turned the speakers off to, so we don't have to hear the noise. Right, just get queued up. Right. Okay, let's try again. Right. And until next time, goodbye. Stupid camera is still recording.